everybody welcome back to another week in my life I'm dressed colorful today because I feel colorful I feel excited I feel just ready for the week it's February 22nd 2022 so it's 22222 I'm gonna be looking at my phone all day till it hits 222 on 22222 very excited a big day of manifestation and just starting a new chapter in our life I don't know I know that sounds dramatic but it's a good little reset to like really sit down and manifest. I don't know. Whether you believe in that or not, I'm having fun with it. Today is Tuesday. Normally we record Gals on the Go on Monday, but we decided to um, record today on Tuesday instead. So I've had the morning to get a ton of stuff done and we're about to walk over to the studio because it's a beautiful day. It's nice and sunny, um, but I'm gonna make some lunch really quick before we go. Um, but yeah, we've got a really fun week ahead. I'm really looking forward to it. I don't really actually really know what I'm doing this week. It's just a ton of random stuff, but that's why you guys watch, right? I gotta make some ginger shots later. Ryan and I, if you guys watched my in-depth night routine video, Ryan and I cooked some arugula chicken mozzarella tomato salad situation. And yes, I do use salad dressing on this specific salad. I just use Italian dressing and like add a little lemon on top. So I have some extra, so that's gonna be my lunch for the day. I just had the Athletic Greens. And we're just starting the day right. I'm really excited. Anyways, I just wanted to intro this video. I'm gonna make my salad, and then we're gonna head over to the Gals in the Go studio. Doesn't this look so good? Here is the final fit. Just popped over this little coat from Fashion Pass. Bag is from Nunu on Instagram. A gold day jeans, white sneakers, Jennifer Bear headband. I'll link this sweater down below. It's Revolve. A little pricey, but it's so cute and happy. All right, let's go meet Brooke and walk over. Okay, guys, I'm here with Brooke. Hello. This is Brooke. If you guys didn't know who she is, <laughs> um, our office space left us a little goodie bag. So so sweet. And oh my God, this is so. There's so much candy. Oh my God. Oh. Okay. Wait, so I love. I love the little stickers. Fun dip. We were literally talking about that in the podcast last week. And Hershey's. Biscoff cookies. Uh, so, so, wait, I've never seen these ones before, like the little individuals. Oh, those look cute. So yummy. Oh my god. Oh, it's literally my. like Valentine's to and from. That's so, so cute. Gosh, oh my god. I can smell the Hershey or the chocolate kisses. Yeah. And then Brenda brought us two mugs to have in the office. Just uh, go shop. Gasslandgopodcast.com yes. if you're interested. Yes, I love it. Wait, your hair looks so good. Oh God, thank you. I crimped it today. Oh my god. I gosh. used my waiver. It's my summer method, but I was feeling summery today. I love it. All right, guys, we're about to record. We're doing an episode all about balance, balancing your social life. If you're in a relationship, your friends, your fitness, your mindset, like just everything. We're talking all about balance, and I'm really excited about it. So today's ginger shot. I'm going home tonight, and we're going to make ginger shots, but on the go, get on the go. This is the Ginger Rescue Ginger Shop by the Ginger People. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's lemon and cayenne. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. Cheers, baby. <laughs> I don't know so. That feels great. It's so warm outside. It's really lovely. It's so nice. We're walking nice. back. The episode was great. It's out by the time you guys are watching this, so go listen, go watch on YouTube. Gals on the go, we talked all about balance. It got me so inspired, because I had a salad earlier, so now I'm like, I want Chick-fil-A. And that is balance. balance. Yeah. And that's what we're all that's about, baby. Balance. <laughs> that's on balance. Brooke's headed to uh, Margaritaville. I am. Uh, happy National Margarita Day. It is. It's, <laughs> it's a celebration. Only it is. I know, I wish I liked margaritas, but... Uh, you can't like it all, no. you know? You just can't. Balance. Balance. Anyways, we're a little matching today, but like, what's new? I've always wanted to go to that plant shed. Yeah, it's so cute. Ryan and I walked in. Coffee. Oh, you did? Yeah, I feel like during the summer, sitting at those tables would be yeah, nice. Cute. Coffee and plants inside, so cute. Look at her, Gals in the Go tote, galsinthego.com. <laughs> Brooks trendy with her little Nike thank you, thank you. shoes, love it. Everything is right in the world right now. Just everything. Catching up on The Bachelor while I eat as well. I, as soon as I got back, put on my robe. I ate my Chick-fil-A. I've been sitting on my couch doing work. Just crossing things off my to-do list. Um, I'm getting a little sleepy and it's only 
6.30, so I'm debating like taking a shower. I don't know, sometimes that wakes me up, like cleaning my face, like cleaning my face, washing my face, you know, that whole situation um, because, well, I will just show you guys. This is so embarrassing. My drawer is overflowing. I think I need to go through this drawer and clean out. This is like underwear, bras, socks and stuff, but you know, that gets old sometimes. You have to throw it away or like, there's just stuff in here that doesn't need to be in here. But as you can see, which when I push it in, like now my, like this is literally hanging and it's so bad and this is a nice piece of furniture. So I was dedicating tonight to doing this. So I'm gonna listen to a podcast and go through this. Literally just clean through it, um, it'll be good. I just have to hang out my clothes that I was wearing today. I also just got these in the mail. These are daily compression socks. Um, for all day energy and support. I definitely want to bring a pair of these on the plane next time I travel because I know like this can potentially help with your circulation I assume. Yeah, so if you guys have a problem with circulation to your feet when you're sitting or standing doing whatever um, I'm gonna try out these comrade socks. I'm excited. Oh, these are knee-high compression socks ankle height um, I don't know. I'm curious to see if like I can feel the difference when I put them on I decided I'm gonna take a shower just to wake myself up because I also remember I want to make ginger shots. We got things to do. All right, so I just cleaned out. Oh no, I didn't even finish. Wow, I did this before I got in the shower. I just put on like some comfy clothes. Um, yeah, like I don't even know. Like I don't wear half of this. Like I know I like stick to my hanky panky. Sorry, this is gross. I'm showing you guys my underwear, but whatever. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Dad. Hello. Hello, girls. Hi, girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm vlogging and then you called. Got my comfort show on, Gossip Girl, finished cleaning my drawer. Now we're about to make some ginger shots. I have, I think about like five ginger roots here, maybe six. Um, so I'm gonna start by chopping these up and juicing them and seeing how much I get. This is the juicer I have, it's from Breville. It's great, this is what I'm gonna fill up the ginger in. I don't have any more lemons, so it's just gonna be pure ginger, which I honestly love. So, yeah, this is just so I have it for the week if I wanna pour myself a ginger shot. So let's get juicing. That was almost perfect. So this, this is literally three ginger roots, just this. But this is like four shots perhaps, maybe a few more. And then yeah, I store it in my fridge. I try to have it within the week. Um, you get the most benefits like the sooner you drink it. Also I do have pimple patches on. And then I add a little cayenne pepper on top. Just got back, here's a mini Trader Joe's haul. I was just walking back with a little tote, so I just got a couple things. I went to the Trader Joe's in Soho on Spring Street. I liked it a lot. Um, I just liked the layout a little bit better, I don't know. 
Um, this is what I'm gonna eat for lunch today. I used to eat these all the time in college and I forgot about them. So I'm gonna have this for lunch, very excited about that. And then Jane, my trainer said, cause I was like, what's just like an easy lunch? Like, or just meal in general that's good for you, nutritious, you know, all the things. And she suggested I get these grilled chicken strips from Trader Joe's, they're frozen, you can season them yourself. She puts them on the pan and like adds, like if you're doing like taco seasoning or if you wanna do just like some chicken, whatever it may be. So she said that with rice and broccoli. I should have gotten brown rice, I know. I just love jasmine rice. These are frozen rice packs. They're literally just rice. There's no like chemicals in them or anything. Um, and they come in three little packs. And then I got more broccoli. The Tuscan penne bread is so good. And then this is gonna be my beverage of the week for my Instagram story segment that I'm doing where I try different beverages. Sparkling ginger and lemon, apple cider vinegar. So we shall see. I'm gonna eat my lunch. Got a call here in a second. Yeah. Lighting another candle. It's always the best when you're lighting a new candle. This one is also from the Coop. I just love their candles. They're so big. They smell amazing. This one is called For the Hustlers and it's Santal and Black Cardamom. Santal is like what's in this scent. So I have a feeling I might like it. So it's the inaugural lighting of the candle. We're in my apartment for the next few hours. Like I said, I'm about to have a call. Just got some packages, I'm gonna open those up. Then I really need to shower and like, you know, clean up a little bit and then I have another call after that. So here's what I got in the mail. <laughs> um, I got some dryer balls because I haven't been using dryer sheets. I know I'm so bad. And I was at my friend's apartment the other day and, and I was like, oh, your apartment smells so good. She was like, oh, I'm doing laundry. She puts like essential oil on the laundry or the dryer balls. So when you put them in the dryer and you're drying your clothes, like the scent kind of comes out and also on the clothes. And I was like, I need dryer balls anyway. So I literally just got these on Amazon. I looked up like 100% um, wool dryer balls and I'm so excited. Like my mom uses these at home. I just forgot about them. So. Can't wait to do my laundry next and use my dryer balls. <laughs> okay, I just got off the phone with my first call, which were some stylists. I am literally unwell. Um, I'm so excited. I'm working with a stylist like big time. Like we're doing the whole situation because I got invited to this huge event. I literally can't even express to you guys how excited I am to share it with you. And I'm not like trying to be all secretive, but I don't know why in my head there's like some way I'm just not gonna end up being able to go. Like I got invited and they we did the confirmation, but now I, I'm still waiting on the details about the event. And I don't know why, but for some reason I'm scared they're gonna be like, just kidding, you're not invited. So I'm not gonna say it because I don't know when this video is going up, but you guys are just gonna know. Tuesday, March 1st. I don't know when this vlog is going up, but it is going to be such a cool day and I'm bringing Ryan into my day and I just literally, I can't. I found out last week and I'm, I've been shaking in my boots. My family's freaking out. Like, it's just a cool thing. I don't know, I'm just freaking out a little bit. So, <laughs> I'm just feeling so thankful, so grateful. I can't believe this is my life at all points in time. And I just hope you guys know, I never take you guys for granted. I love you guys so much. I think about you all day, like all of you. I love you all so much. And yeah, so I need to actually shower now. I look gross, I feel gross. Um, I'm just getting lazy. Okay, I just got out of the shower. I have my hair in like a towel scrunchie to just kind of soak it all up. Um, my skin is like, one, I'm breaking out, which makes sense. It's that time of the month, so like maybe that's why. Um, but my face just looks extra red. I don't know. So we're going to do a face mask. <laughs> um, this is by Loops. It's for daytime refreshes, full-time detoxes, part-time facials. This is the Clean Slate one. Um, they sell them in a variety pack on Revolve. I'll link it below for you guys. I love these masks. You just keep them on for 10 minutes. I just love like the material. It just feels so good on your skin. It's very cooling. So I'm just gonna put this on for 10 minutes. Um, and then once I'm done with the mask, I'll take my hair down and like spray in the leave-in conditioner and everything. I love loops masks the most because they're two parts and I, I don't know. Face masks never fit my face properly, obviously, so by having the two different pieces, you can kind of fit it accordingly, rather than the other ones that are also great, but you have to like really scrunch them around to fit on your face. I don't know. 
That's just my opinion. Tonight I got free tickets to go see Tina Turner the musical on Broadway. Um, so I'm really excited and I decided to take Daly, who's one of my best friends from college and she works in the city. And so I was like, hey buddy, you wanna go see a show? And she's really into theater too. So I knew, I was hoping she was available because I knew she'd be down. And sure enough, she was available. So she's coming here right after work, getting ready really quick. I made us dinner reservations at this restaurant called Bon 45. It's Italian, that's Daly and I's like love language. We both love Italian so much. Um, and it's, I think it's literally right next to the theater that this show's at. And then we're gonna go see it. And I also found out Brooke got tickets to the show too. So Brooke and her boyfriend are gonna be there as well. So that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna let this mask soak in. Just all the goodness onto my skin. And, yeah. Look who's here. Hi, girls. <laughs> <laughs> my dad would be so proud. I know. Hi, girls. Daily's here. We're going to have our dinner and a show night. I know. She just came night. from work. And she brought her work bag. Work bag, guys. You guys know. Um, TBT to the work bag. You guys want to see. Oh. Um, any, I, any new additions to the actually, Dagny Dinner? Yeah, no, guys. So, <laughs> so, um. I got these new notebooks. Oh my god, three of them. From Martha Stewart. One Love. says ideas, thoughts, dreams. So, so cute. Do you, know. you use them all three? Uh, just the one time? for now. Okay, oh, like did you get them today? Is that why? Yeah. Oh, and then I also have my travel channel notebook. Really hey. love. And then, um, notebook okay. check. You guys, <laughs> this is actually the most exciting thing Ooh. yet. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I was looking at the other thing, but that's no. cool too. No, I got AirPods case. I got AirPods for the first time. Oh, wait. And, yeah, and a phone without a home button. With a case in my case? Yeah, I know. I'm literally so good. Wait. Uh, <laughs> you are fitted. I, no, guys, I have had a, a, a home button wait. since like two days ago. I do remember you, you sent us a sound. This is, are you like, is your life changed with the yeah, new Yeah, except I don't really know how to like screenshot or like do anything, but it's like, we'll do lessons. I'll, yeah, we could do yeah. like lessons or something, guys. Um, check me out with that 13 Pro Max. I am literally so cool. Wait, that's so exciting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, also, ran into a girl on the street the other day. So, listen to this, you're gonna love it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I was walking home from the bars, just, you know, in, around, in and around the Chelsea area. And I was walking and I wanted food and I saw these girls and I was like, excuse me, where did you get that food? Cause they were holding um, like bags. And this girl goes, Taco Bell. Oh my God. Also, I recognize you from Danielle's videos. And I was like, oh my God, hi. Wait, that's so amazing. Thank God you like asked her about the Taco Bell. I know because- That's so crazy. Wow, shout out you. Yeah, Taco Bell girl. What up? What up Taco Bell yeah, girl? Was, oh my gosh. It was a fun night. And that's I amazing. got a little quesadilla action. Oh, that sounds nice. We're about to go to dinner. We're going to Bond 45. I'm but so excited. I'm really struggling to put my shoes on right now. I know. This is amazing. Can I'm I like, help? Really? <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways, I'll resume when uh, Daily's got her shoes on. But we're going to head out. I'm so excited for dinner and a show. I can't stop saying it. <laughs> and then we're going to have a sleepover. And last time she came, we literally sat on the couch and talked for two hours. Never even oh. watched a movie. We were like, let's watch a movie. And we just talked. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. So where are we going to dinner? Oh, there's getting ready to go to lunch with Brooke and our friend Jazz. I'm so excited we're going to Ruby's, but I purposely like, I just had like a piece of toast when I woke up this morning because Ruby's has breakfast all day. 
and I love their breakfast and I look like a mess. <laughs> this is the little fit we're working with. It was like 60 degrees yesterday, like 50 something, and now it's 30. So I have this Aritzia set on my black dunks, black sunglasses. I'm gonna do a little pop of green bag. Daily left this morning. Guys, the show last night was amazing. I can't even begin, like, I have never been so invested in a story in a musical like ever, and that's saying a lot. Um, it was just so good. It was such an energetic performance. Like there was just always something going on. It was so amazing. Like so, like the audience was so into it. Like it was amazing. Highly suggest going to see Tina, the Tina Turner musical. It was fire. It was so good. And then Daly and I just like sporadically hopped on that. Um, I think it's called a pedicab, or there's different words for it, um, but like one of the bikes. And we literally just drove for eight minutes because it was so expensive, but it got us out of like the main area. And we like drove through Times Square and we played in first state of mind. It was unreal. It was so much fun. Um, oh, I need a little moisturizer. But yeah, so she woke up this morning. She did a little work from here. And then she headed home to do more work. She had training for something today. I'm putting on some Ella Lou's beauty oil. Um, but yeah. So we're going to lunch because we've been wanting to meet up with Jazz for a while. She, I would call her like TikTok is her main form of social media and she's amazing. She's hilarious. Um, and we've been trying to meet up for a while. So we're doing that. And then Brooke's coming back here and we have a lot of administrative stuff to do. So we're just gonna do it at my apartment. The Labo, the Noir, so good. And yeah, and then just lots more work to do later. And then I'm going to dinner again tonight. Lots of eating outings. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pop on a jacket. I feel like this fit is fine. Amazon claw clip, <laughs> whatever, right? All right, put all together doesn't look that bad. Let's go eat some grub. Wow, yesterday versus today, the weather. It's not. Good morning, stroll. Good morning, walk to the park. <laughs> I'm literally wearing sunglasses because I was just telling Brooke, like, my right eye tears up in the cold. I'm I over it. it. I get it. It's actually helping. I know, I should have brought gloves. Yeah, I always do because I find that when I'm my, when I have a hat on and gloves on, like, I don't get as cold. Which yeah. I'm so. Your ears and your hands. I'm my toes, so I'm like, oh, that's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> Been sitting here a while. It's literally 5:20 now. I've gossip girl on Brooke left about an hour ago. We got a ton of just administrative stuff done. We were also planning out the rest of our weekend because this weekend we're going on a cabin trip with our boyfriends. I'm so excited. We're going to a cabin in the Poconos. We wanted to do this for so long, and this was the first weekend that the place we want to stay at was available. So really, really looking forward to that. We have to pack tonight slash tomorrow. So I'll take you guys along on that. But right now. Um, I've still got a couple hours. I really want to do a face mask. My skin has just not been it lately. I need to use some more Hero Cosmetics patches. Um, or just like put some moisturizer on. I just feel like my skin is just blah right now. But it's a really cozy day. It was. We had a lovely lunch. We sat there and talked, I think, for two hours. Um, and Jazz is such an amazing human being. I love her. She's so funny and it was just fun because we all like live in Lower East Side, East Village, so it was just fun to chat. Beep beep, down to the city. <laughs> okay, as for packing, we're not confirmed if there's snow on the ground in the town that we're gonna be in yet, but either way, we're gonna do like some hikes and stuff and we're expecting a little bit of snow. So I'm bringing, these are snow boots that I just got. So I have these snow boots and they're great. They're so cute, but you guys, they were not practical for walking around, and I learned that fast. Um, a lot of you said Sorel, so I found these on Free People. I will link them below. I love how sleek they are. I love the cream bottom. They're so cute, so comfortable. So I'm going to bring these. And then I have these Merrill hiking shoes. Um, they're so cute. I feel like they're just so ideal. And then I think I'm going to bring, actually, these Uggs. So these all happen to be right here anyways. And then, like, another pair of white sneakers, probably. 
And then I think I'm just gonna attempt to do a duffel bag if I can, because we're only staying for two nights. Um, hmm. I'll probably bring like one sweat set, because that's just like an easy outfit. I'll bring leggings and like a long sleeve Lululemon top or something. Not going for super cute, oh my gosh. But I did rent a few sweaters from Fashion Pass literally for this trip. Wow, that's exciting. So we have this one, which I'm finally excited to wear. It says Opera Ski. I'll lay all these out on my bed in a second. And then I also rented this sweater, which is perfect. And then I'm also gonna bring this one because this is like campy vibes, I feel like. And then I think I wanna bring my little flannel PJ set because things that just make sense, right? Little cabin vibe. All right, yeah, so these are the three sweaters I'm gonna bring. This one's from BB Dakota. I actually got it off of Stitch Fix, or I think it's BB Dakota, yeah. Um, but I just love the print. It looks super warm. This is one of the ones I got from Fashion Pass. It says Opera Ski because we were thinking about skiing or like Broken Her Boyfriend were. Ryan and I have never skied, so we were like, oh, I was like, Opera Ski. It's from Show Me Your Mumu. Very cute. And then I just loved this sweater too. This would be really cute with some faux leather leggings. It's from Fashion Pass, but it's French Connection. Oh, I've heard of that brand. So yeah, I'm gonna try and limit myself to these three sweaters because we're literally there for two nights. Um, one pair of flannel pajamas. And then like I said, or maybe I'll just bring this sweat set from Aretzia, it's super comfy. And then I'll probably just bring my Agolde straight leg jeans and then my Spanx um, faux leather leggings. And that'll probably do it, right? And then I'll bring, I'm just going around my apartment right now with you all. We'll probably do like some workout leggings and like I have a Lululemon long sleeve, like workout material shirt. And then I'll definitely bring this. This is my Sam jacket. It's heavy duty. It's so warm. And then maybe my Eve's jacket. This is from Revolve. It's so cute and cozy. Um, it's a giving cabin. I don't know. So yeah, I think that's kind of an overlay. We're not leaving till tomorrow afternoon, but I wanted to walk around my apartment with you guys and kind of get a general idea of what I wanted to bring so that tomorrow I'm not flustered. I think I'm also, actually, let's do this right now. I'm gonna put on self tanner on my face. I can't, I just, my face is so, I don't know. I just feel more confident when my, at least my face is tan, especially in the winter. This is my like go-to way to tan my face. I also like the Tan Lux drops or the Isle of Paradise drops, but I use the Tan Lux, the water. Been doing this since college. It's amazing. I only use this on my face, but you can use it on your body too. I have this little mini mitt. Spray it on my face, rub it in. It's clear and then it like develops over time. It just looks so good. The last time I did it, I did it on my neck too, which I think I'm gonna do. And it blends, and it doesn't look streaky at all. I think because it's like water. I'll link this down below for you guys. So, I don't know, that's how much I spray. I never really know. And then I just make sure to really work it in, rub it in. I always regret the next morning not self tanning the night before. You know, I'm like, oh, I wish I tanned my face last night. But, like I was saying yesterday, I have a really exciting event next Tuesday, so. I'm gonna get spray tan for that, so I'm just holding out. <laughs> and then I'm going to Florida, and then I'm going on another warm weather trip. We've got a lot of traveling coming up. So the content's about to be travel -y, but I really haven't like traveled, traveled in a while. It's always just like going home, which is an awesome place to go. But I'm excited to share with you guys that. I'm really, really thankful I get to do that. So yeah, this weekend kind of kicks off the traveling. Yeah, and then I just let it dry. It has like a little smell to it, but I, I'm one of those people, I like the smell of um, self tanner because I'm like, Ooh, it's working, like I'm gonna be tan. I don't know, I just always register the scent of self tan with like good times and events. So I don't know if any of you feel that way, like certain scents, certain songs, certain sounds, whatever, um, but yeah. Also when Brooke was here, we made a grocery list of everything we want for the cabin, so here's kind of an overview. We got breakfast stuff, and then tomorrow night when we get there, we're actually gonna get dinner because we're getting in late, so we won't really have time to cook. And we're also, Brooke's boyfriend is bringing a car from his family's house, which is so nice. So we're gonna be able to have a car to like drive around. And then for dinner on Saturday night, we're gonna make chicken piccata. So we wrote down all the ingredients for that and everything we want. And then we're getting like chips, salsa, guac, carrots, hummus. 
stuff for a cheese board and then some more stuff. Whee! And then I said, let's just all bring our own like alcohol that we would want. So I have like some random, I have Bailey's, which would be really fun to do hot cocoa with Bailey's. Um, and I know Brooke's a big hot cocoa girl these days. I also have this wine that they just sent me from the Vine Drop. And it's like a fruity wine. And oh my God, is there fruit in it? Oh, maybe not. It just sounds so delightful. So might bring that. I'm sure Ryan will just like bring beer. I mean, it's not gonna be like a huge drinking trip. I mean, it would be nice to like sip wine on the porch, but nothing crazy. What else, what else? Oh, let me, let's pull out my earmuffs and maybe a beanie. Let's see, oh, a scarf. I haven't even looked at the temperature. I'm just assuming it's gonna be cold. These earmuffs from Amazon, so cute. I also just got these mittens from Amazon. Cause I find mittens to be a little bit warmer and I never, the tech gloves never work. I always end up taking off my gloves anyway. So I was like, I'm just gonna get mittens. So I'm working on my little stack over here. I've got my faux leather leggings. I'm trying to be a minimalist here. And the one pair of jeans, maybe I'll wear the sweatsuit in the car tomorrow. So I'm not packing that. My earmuffs. Gonna bring these three hats. Bring my Gals in the Go beanie, it's so cute. I hope, I'm gonna tell Brooke to bring hers too. Um, this white beanie with a little top and then this hat that I got from Amazon, it's so cute. Um, I feel like that would look good with one of the black and white sweaters that I showed you guys. Um, and this would just be like a pop, like if we go hiking and I'm just wearing like all black workout stuff, this would be fun with the Merrill hiking shoes. <laughs> a moment, right? <laughs> Speaking of hiking, going for walks, whatever, this is my go-to bag that I got for Lollapalooza last year at H&M. It's like a crossbody situation, but like you can also wear it, like I can make it super tight and make it like across the chest bag and it fits my phone, my wallet, anything I would need for like a walk and it's just very comfortable. So I feel like it makes sense to bring that. Wow, I'm like really proud of myself right now. Wow, so it's 100% rain there tomorrow, but we're not getting until late. Saturday, uh, partly sunny, we'll take it. Oh, high of 30, all right, so, wow. We wanted to do like a fire on the porch outside at night. Gonna have to bundle up, perhaps, perhaps I bring a scarf. I feel like that would make sense. I'm also, I'm literally turning into my mother. I'm gonna bring two Sleepy Time tea packets to have. The Airbnb has a Keurig. Um, and an espresso, so we're covered for like coffee and whatever in the morning. But I love sleepy time tea and I can just make hot water with the Keurig. On that note, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been drinking decaf coffee because I just love the taste in the morning, but I haven't really needed the caffeine and it makes me a little shaky anxious. So I'll pack, let's see, there's two mornings. Yeah, I'll bring, <laughs> wow, this is hilarious. Sleepy time tea and decaf coffee, say less. I also just thought about ginger shots, but I don't think I'll want to bring my this thing there. So I may go to my bodega because my bodega actually sells little ginger shots that are actually like pretty pure ginger. I was very shocked. So I might go there tomorrow and grab a couple. Also need to um, refill my supplements box. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, wow. I took them this morning. That must have been the last day. So yeah, I have to go through all of them. I'm just taking a thousand supplements at this point. So, oh, sorry guys, sounds of the city. It's come to the point where all these aren't fitting since I just added um, this mushroom complex that my dad wants me to start taking. Um, so, oh, I could just bring my care ofs because my care of quiz was very similar to the ones I take. So I've been using them for travel. Duh, that's why they're here, Danielle. Okay, fabulous, that's easy. All right, so I'm about to start getting ready. I just packed a good amount. I put my hair, my hair clips. I put my shirt on because there was no way we were putting this shirt on after makeup. It's really cute. It's from Revolve. I haven't worn it before. Um, I'm about to do my makeup, but I was drinking my kombucha out of my glass, and I was like, let's put in a little martini glass. It's like a little pregame for the dinner. I don't know if I told you guys, we're going to the Waverly and I'm going to dinner with Kelly and my friend Seb. She went to Georgia with me and yeah, they like met last weekend. So I'm really happy that they like bonded. And so the three of us are going to dinner. I'm just really happy. It's a good time. I'm making friends. I'm really thankful. Um, so cheers. We're going to start getting ready. I'm going to film a makeup routine soon. I promise, but I don't have enough time to do that right now. <laughs> 
All right, I just did my makeup. I touched up my hair with the Dyson Airwrap. I'll show you guys my outfit really quick. Then we're gonna head over to Waverly Inn. Here is the outfit. I'm gonna throw a puffer jacket over top because it's freezing outside. This top I'll link below. It's from Revolve. I love it. It's so flattering. It's my first time wearing it. It's a little turtleneck action. Green Bottega bag, Spanx leggings, seriously the best. And then my Vince Camuto boots that I wore last night. It's just a simple all black outfit with the statement top. All right, let's go eat some grub. I feel like I keep saying that. Yeah. Headed into it. Seb's already inside. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so cute. Wow. I just got back. It was such a lovely dinner. I just love those girls so much. It was just good energy, good vibes. Um, I went back to Seb's apartment for a while. We hung out and we got tickets to go see a show. So I'm just really excited. I'm gonna end the vlog here only because I want a video to go up this Sunday while I'm on my cabin trip. And if I don't end this now, like I won't be able to get the video up in time. So we're gonna end the vlog here purely so you guys have this vlog on Sunday. Um, tomorrow's literally boring. I'm just like packing and getting everything ready for the cabin. So. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for following me along. We've got some really fun and exciting vlogs coming up. Thank you for supporting me constantly. I wouldn't be able to do any of this without you guys. And I'll see you soon for another video. I'll see you on Sunday. Well, when, oh yeah, see, yeah, you guys get the point. Bye.